Is the Fed really ready for a change in direction? I guess we're going to find out very soon. So today we have some Fed news. We have some XRP news, Bitcoin. We have a little bit of Chainlink and Solana news as well towards the, the last chapters of the video, of course. Um, but we're going to begin here. This article is titled Fed's Jerome Powell delivers essential message for crypto investors details let's find out what the heck is going on with the fed now it says jerome powell makes key remarks with implications for cryptocurrencies there's a lot of pressure on the fed right now a lot especially with political seasons coming up so i expected them to have to not have to but be forced to take certain actions we shall see it continues on here though Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell has recently delivered remarks that might have implications for the crypto market. They reiterate that again. I don't know why. On Monday, Powell stated that the central bank will not wait until inflation reaches 2% before cutting interest rates. Powell, speaking at the Economic Club of Washington, D.C., cited the premise that the central bank policy operates with, quote, long and variable lags to explain why the Fed would not wait for its target to be met. It says, according to Powell, the Fed seeks, quote, quote, greater confidence, unquote, that inflation will return to 2%. You sure about that? Interesting. We'll see. It says Powell stated at the beginning, uh, at the opening of his address, that he did not aim to provide any signals about when the Fed would begin to lower interest rates. Of course not. Leave everything opaque and obtuse as usual. The central bank will hold its next policy meeting at the end of July. Other Fed officials are scheduled to speak this week. On Tuesday, investors will be looking for the latest retail sales data, as well as import and export prices. How cryptocurrencies reacted. Well, there's a lot going on with crypto right now, including the waning of the, the uh, selling of Bitcoin. Right. It says here the crypto market is posting mixed reaction amid uh, profit taking after a bullish start to the week however most cryptocurrencies remained in the green as investors weighed comments from the federal reserve chairman jerome powell on the outlook for the economy and interest rates a few cryptocurrency oh then they go into they go into a lot of meme coins here <laughs> there's a lot of meme coin activity going on here all right but hey you got to go elsewhere for that i don't cover that here on this channel all right okay so now let's move on here I was like, what crypto are they going to talk about here? And boom, meme coins. Right. All right. So now let's move here. Um, so now we're going to move on to a little bit of XRP news. I hope everybody out there is doing well. I hope people are treating you kindly. All right. And if you have to treat people in any type of way, I hope that you treat them kindly. And let's all move forward as beings to somewhere where Maybe it's a better life experience. That's that's what I want. I want beings on this planet to have a better life experience, you know, and it's just so much fighting and arguing going on is where do people think that that leads? It doesn't lead anywhere good. I'm telling you to tell you that right now. So, you know, in my existence, you know, I, I want to treat people kindly and have a good moment or two. And I hope the best for everybody out there genuinely. And I hope that people hope the best for me. That's the most that I could say. So now. This article here is titled, If XRP Volume Reaches $40 Billion Per Day, Here is the Double Digit Price It Can Reach. $40 billion. Why that number in particular? So this hypothetical analysis suggests that the daily trading volume of XRP may need to surge to $40 billion to achieve a double digit price. I had to throw this little pe this little movement in here because I don't know if I did it at the beginning of this chapter. <laughs> and if I don't do it, I won't know where to place the, the little chapter thing so people could jump around if they want to, you know. Some people only watch for the XRP chapter. That's it. You know, some people watch for other things. And some people watch for the Bitcoin, the XLM chapter. So I have to know where to put those chapters. And you see me do like this, it's not for nothing. Some people know that, some people don't. We're, we're getting a lot of new people into the channel, it, it appears, right? Uh, so now, it says here, XRP, and thank you all for being here, by the way. XRP ranks among the primary beneficiaries of the latest mini bull run. I, I didn't consider, I saw things going up a little bit. I didn't consider this a mini bull run, but to each his own, right? Setting a new monthly high at 56 cents early today. With a floor price of 55 cents at press time, XRP has surged by over 25% within the last seven days. XRP's significant gain over the past 24 hours is reflected in its trading volume, 
Well, it looked like everything went up because Bitcoin went up again, right? I, I know some people are, go are going to say, well, there is the speculation that the there could be a settlement soon. Like, there's no guarantee in it. I don't think that that's enough for people to become bullish and start buying again. I just don't think, just my humble opinion, my humble opinion. I read the articles. Uh, I saw the speculation. And I hope it's true. I hope it does come soon. But I don't think that that's enough to prompt people. I think a lot of individuals right now are at a, a place where they need to see something more solid. They need to hear it with their own ears before they act. Um, now, whales are different. Whales are a little bit different. You know, they can play the game and there's not much negatives to them playing the game. Um, but everyone else, no, I don't just from this. What I'm seeing psychologically, I don't think that they're at that point. But I do believe that when Bitcoin goes up, and I, I thought I saw Bitcoin going up, um, everything else goes up with it. Now, that's solid. That's solid, right? So now, this is XRP significant gain over the past 24 hours. It's reflected in its trading volume. Market participants have exchanged a staggering 2, $2 billion, $212,069,038 in XRP today, a, a substantial 54% increase from the value obtainable in the previous day. As of July the 6th, when uh, XRP sold for a low of 42 cents, the asset garnered a 24-hour volume of only $723 million. Considering the substantial vol volume XRP wields today, the crypto basic examines the daily trading volume. All right, so now let's get to the section. You know, what's crazy? That entire section didn't even have it. it, it that's not even where they addressed the $40 billion in daily volume <laughs> you got me crypto basic you got me good <laughs> man what why do you want to keep us on the website longer like is it because of the ads i just don't understand why it, it, like it's not a video it's an article right I, I don't know i don't know article writers reasoning so this next sec section is titled xrp may need 40 billion dollars in volume it may need it all right. Trading in double figures implies a price of at least ten dollars. Oh, talk nice to me. Right. A price of at least ten dollars for XRP. OK, now you got my attention. Consequently, the prominent this prominent AI tool first estimated the, the price increase ratio of XRP reaching ten dollars versus its current market value of approximately fifty five cents. What prom? What AI? They just jumped in and said this AI tool. Which one? What are you using? You didn't even tell me. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see. You just slipped it in there at the end of the last chapter, didn't you? I see it right there. Chat GPT. Why do people love Chat GPT so much? They rely on it so much. There's other AI out there, and I'm telling you right now, doing research is better to do the research manually than to use AI. Just my humble opinion, but let's keep going. In particular, XRP demands a growth of over 1,700% to attain a market value above $10, an increased factor of 18.18. Um, it says ChatGPT assumed, that's what it says here. ChatGPT assumed a scenario where a proportionate growth in current daily volume would be akin to a similar growth in market value. As a result, it imply XRP's current trading volume um, by, by the growth factor needed to reach $10, which resulted in a hypothetical daily volume of over $40 billion. Uh, $40 billion. Yeah, there, there you go. All right. So listen, I'm going to leave that one there. Let's move on here. Do we have some more XRP news? I think we do. Oh, I should have made this first. Why did you all not tell me to put this? this uh, article for now this one here would have made an impact being the first chapter i might use this somehow for the title of the video see uh, figure out a, a good way to use it because this is interesting definitely should have been first now this article is titled ripple takes aim at warren one million dollar donation fuels crypto advocacy now when i first saw this i said what in the world is going on i like a i like an article that makes me think that gets my adrenaline flowing a little bit makes me question what are they talking about what's going on here because you know uh the times i've read about i believe the times i've read about uh, is this senator warren i think it's senator warren my apologies folks listen i'm not deeply into politics but i believe it's senator warren elizabeth warren i believe i'm not into politics folks once again, my apologies. I mean no offense to anyone who is deep into that. 
But when I've heard that name, I just recall that individual not being um, not being pro crypto. And I could be wrong on that. Am I remember that remembering that correctly or not? So now I was wondering, like, what does this mean? What are they doing? Here we go. This gets interesting. Click the if you haven't smashed the like button, please do. I would agree. I appreciate it. It says here in a recent development for the XRP community, Ripple Labs has donated one million dollars. Wow. To the Commonwealth Unity Fund, a super political action committee, a PAC, a super PAC founded by pro crypto lawyer James Murphy, also known as Meta Lawman. This pack is dedicated to unseating Senator Elizabeth Warren. Whoa, this is major. That's a heck of a move. This pack is dedicated to unseating Senator Elizabeth Warren, a vocal critic of the cryptocurrency industry. I thought so. So I remember correctly. See, I'm, I'm getting older. My mind still, I'm still sharp a little bit. I'm a, I'm a wee bit sharp, a wee bit sharp. <laughs> Don't let the. Don't let the good looks fool you. I'm getting I'm getting up there in age. But um, whoa. And once again, folks, I want to highlight why is all this happening now? Everything's happening now. Something's coming. People can't tell me different. I know people are trying to convince me of everything. folks. I'm telling you in that comment section, people are trying to convince me um, there's nothing coming. And this is all a coincidence. No, it's not. I don't believe in coincidence. You're not going to move me this way or that. I know what I know. I'm. That doesn't mean others need to share my belief because they're not anyway. <laughs> there, there's mostly free thinkers here on this channel. I only speak for myself. So, this is happening for a reason. They could have done this in any of the other years. They do it now. This is strategic. Something is coming. This is a vocal critic of the cryptocurrency industry and electing John Deaton. Whoa, where did this came out of no nowhere? For, for people like me, I mean, I don't, does someone else know about this? And electing John Deaton, could you imagine John Deaton being in that position? This is a well-known advocate for XRP to the Senate. Things are about to get interesting, folks. Interesting, but I want to see the pushback on this because there's definitely going to be get back. Let me tell you something. These politicians are 100 percent part of the get back gang. You know, get back gang. I mean, they take vengeance for everything. They take revenge for everything. It says, uh, according to a business journalist, Eleanor Tourette, I've heard that name as well before. Ripple's hefty contribution to the Commonwealth Unity Fund shows the company's strategic intent, but not. See, I'm, I'm, when I say strategic, I mean. It's happening right now, right before the case ends, right before crypto gets mass adoption, right before uh, Bitcoin and crypto as a whole get a mainstream push. They're doing everything really, really quickly right now, which tells me that these crypto like Bitcoin, XRP, the bank coins are in a great position right now. In my humble opinion, not financial advice. Make up your own mind about how you feel about things. Do what you want. It says here. Shows the company's strategic intent to sway U.S. politics in favor of the cryptocurrency sector. It's about time. This should have, if this was going to happen, something like this was going to happen. It should have happened a long time ago. Could have happened a long time ago. Long time coming. Murphy, who founded the PAC, was emphasized, has emphasized the critical nature of this election for shaping the future of cryptocurrency regulation. He has personally contributed $50,000 to the PAC and is relying, re, uh, rallying the crypto community to back Deaton's Senate bid to end years of SEC interference. Wow. It's a new day. New day. And let me tell you, if things continue to go positive, positively, there may be a golden age coming for crypto. Ripple executives Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson also back Deaton with uh, the maximum $6,600 campaign con contribution in April. Really? I read a lot of articles, but it, it, it just shows me there's no way for everyone to see everything. No way for everything. We're all going to miss something. This is why it's good to have multiple researchers on the job. Um, and everybody out there has been doing a great job as far as I'm concerned. Article writers, video makers, everybody's been doing a great job uh, pulling information together. Because I did not see this. I didn't see this. I did not know about this. This is big. Major. 
It says, by that time, Deaton had raised $1.26 million predominantly from crypto enthusiasts as reported, reported by political. I probably miss a lot also because of um, I'm not on Twitter right now. Right. Um, yeah, there's a lot of reasons for that. Holy smokes, bro. Um, so I don't have access to that Twitter. So I don't I don't know what's going on on there. And I think a lot happens on there. This is why I think it's very very important for people to reach out to the regular media and put articles out and do interviews and such so everybody will know what's going on and not just people on twitter all right so now let's go here we have a little bit of bitcoin news i feel like this video is flowing better than the previous days and i feel back into a certain rhythm and it takes me it's like i have these cycles sometimes i do and it depends on how life is going for me as well um sometimes life is super busy and it's been like that the last month and it, and so my flow gets a little chopped up and then I hit this groove again where where my thoughts become smoother. My verbiage becomes smoother again. I feel like I'm getting back to that once more and it feels good. It feels good. So this article here is titled Bitcoin flies over sixty three thousand dollars. I thought so. I thought it went up significantly. Bitcoin flies over $63,000 liquidating short sellers as legendary trader Peter Brandt says bear trap confirmed. Let's scroll down here, find out what's going on. Crypto short sellers are weathering liquidations following Bitcoin's sudden surge beyond the $63,000 mark. According to data from Coinglass, the crypto markets have experienced more than $134 million in liquidations in the past 24 hours alone mostly from short sellers. Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange platform by volume, hosted the largest amount of liquidations at $52 million, followed by $35 million on OKX and $19 million by, on Bybit and $14 million on Huobi. Veteran trader Peter Brandt believes that Bitcoin's big gain on Monday has now confirmed the correction to fifty the correction to $50,000 range was a bear trap, quote unquote, and that the price may now be heading to more than $90,000. That's very close to where I think, um, you know, Bitcoin is going to go around between 100,000 and 150,000, somewhere around there, maybe 120. Um, we shall see. I hope it goes higher. Why not? This is a quote, bear trap, unquote, is when the price goes low enough to convince bears to sell or go short before quickly reversing in the opposite direction of their position, says Brandt, quote, Bitcoin BTC could be unfolding its often repeated hump, slump, bump, dump, pump chart construction. July 5th attempt at a double top was a bear trap. Confirmed by July 13th close, most likely scenario now is that bears are trapped. Close below $56,000 negates this interpretation, unquote. All right. So now let's move on here. What is going on with Mt. Gox? What is happening here? We have an article here about it. Let's find out. I hope it's not any bad news. So this article here is titled Kraken Confirms Receipt of Mt. Gox Bitcoin. Creditors to receive as early as next week. All right. Wait. All right, let me read this first before I say what I'm going to say. Let me get a little bit more information. According to the email, quote, we have successfully received creditor funds, BTC and BCH, from the Mt. Gox trustee. While we, while we will work to distribute funds as quickly as possible, please anticipate 7 to 14 days for funds to be credited to your account. The amount you will receive has been determined by the trustee, and we will distribute according to their instructions. Earlier today, Mt. Gox transferred approximately 92,000 BTC valued at $5.8 billion to four unnamed addresses, according to the blockchain analytical platform Arkham Intelligence. The firm reported that the defunct exchange moved 48,641 BTC valued at $3.07 billion to particular addresses. I'm not going to read that out here. Initially, these funds were sent to Mt. Gox's some account that they have. It says the failed exchange also moved 42,587 Bitcoin valued at 2.7 billion to another address. Market observers, including blockchain analyst Look On Chain, suggest that these transactions are in preparation for the firm's repayment efforts. On July the 5th, the exchange announced 
it had begun repaying creditors through designated crypto exchanges according to its rehabilitation plan. Notably, reports indicated that the timeline for payouts may vary across exchanges. Market reacts to Bitcoin movement. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm waiting to hear. Let me hear their reactions. Mt. Gox's recent Bitcoin movements have increased selling pressure on the leading digital. That's why. That's why I thought. So, <clears throat> so now it's a matter of. My apologies, clearing my throat. My apologies. Uh, but now it's a matter of. Do those people, whoever's getting paid, hold their Bitcoin after all this time? Even though it might go up, it's, it may go up significantly. Or do they sell now because hey, it's been a long time and they need their money. They need that value. Hmm. This is going to get interesting very quickly. I feel like I have something trapped in my throat. My apologies. This sudden price drop resulted in liquidation of approximately $13 million from traders speculating on the market's price movement within the last four hours. Really? According to CoinGlass data. OK, so now I want to get to the Chainlink and Solana news. Let's see if there's anything else that's really important. I don't want to leave anything out. We're going to we're going to negate or we're going to leave out one, two three articles here to get to the chain link and so a lot of news i want to keep my word here and uh end off with those so now chain link i love chain link by the way i the more i see from them the more bullish i become um and their future looks extremely bright it says here chain link price analysis whale accumulation pattern sets link for a major reversal Chainlink price analysis shows potential for significant price reversal with whale buying activity and market recovery stabilizing above 12.2 dollars. $12 uh, link could surge 24.6 percent to 16 dollars with a potential breakout targeting above 25 dollars. If I misread something, my apologies. <clears throat> the cryptocurrency market is showing signs of bullish momentum with Bitcoin steadily aiming to reclaim the sixty thousand dollar level. This uptick in market recovery has or was catalyzed by the German government's decision to liquidate its entire Bitcoin holdings yesterday, allevi alleviating significant supply pressure. As the positive trend permeates the altcoin sector, the chain link price analysis shows a three day rally to rise 6% and reach a trading value of $13. Amid the ongoing market consolidation, the chain link price managed to stabilize above $12. This horizontal level, accompanied by the support trend line of falling wedge patterns, created strong accumulation points for buyers. Thus, the demand pressure uplifted the asset to $13, while the market cap jumped to uh, $7.97 billion. A recent analysis from the on-chain data tracker Look On-Chain revealed that a number of unidentified entities, likely a whale or an institutional investor, have been accumulating substantial amounts of Chainlink coins. So, <clears throat> Chainlink continues to look extremely bullish. Let's move on here. So now, we're going to end off with a little bit of Solana news, or as this article likes to call it, the Ethereum killer. Why do they say stuff like that? Ethereum will continue to be around, unless the SEC has something to say about it, uh, but it will continue to be around. It will continue to make money. Uh, there's enough money to go around. Solana isn't going, to, going anywhere at all. It's going to continue to increase in its popularity and its utility. I think there's going to be a lot of winners, but hey, to each his own. Some people have that comparative way of thinking, but this article nonetheless is titled Ethereum Killer Solana could soar to one hundred and seventy four dollars, says popular crypto analyst after identifying this bullish pattern. Influential cryptocurrency analyst Ali Martinez, all oh, Martinez back in the building, predicts a bullish run for Solana, often touted as the Ethereum killer amid growing market optimism around the digital asset. This is what happened on Monday. Martinez posted his optimistic prediction for Solana on X, formerly Twitter. He noted that the formation of a W pattern in Solana's chart, which prompted him to forecast a rise to $174. Also called a double bottom pattern in technical analysis. The W pattern typically occurs at the end of an extended bearish trend and signals a bullish reversal. Sol was last seen at around $174 more than six weeks ago in may if martinez's prognosis comes true it would mean a 13 percent bounce from its from its prevailing price why it matters 
Solana's bullish market sentiment was supported by noted analysts in the cryptocurrency space. Syncrasy Capital, Capital's Daniel Chung predicted that the coin reached 50% of Ethereum's market valuation with another trader, Eugene Ingasio, expressed confidence that it would become the market's favorite. Really? Hmm, I like this bullishness. Listen, I like Solana. I believe in Solana. I think it has a bright future. Earlier, Van Eck and 21 shares filed S1 registration forms with the SEC for a Solana ETF. We covered that article, marking a significant step towards opening up the world's third largest speculative cryptocurrency to mainstream investors. Quote, active investors, secret weapon, unquote, supercharged. Wait, what is that? My word. Why? Article writer. Why would you put that in there like that? You're tricky. Why, why, why would you put that there? <laughs> so, I'm not going to read that. What is this? It's like an it's like an advertisement, but it's it's not. There's no picture behind it. It's just it just blends right in with the with the uh, paragraph. It has a quote on it. It's written just like a sentence. And then there's a hyperlink at the end of it. That is so creepy and just weird. You got me. You, you almost you almost got me. You almost got me. All right. So now now that you have that information, what are you going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with it. I hope you're all doing well out there. Okay. Hope you're safe. Hope your families are safe. Um, hope you're healthy. And I hope people are showing you kindness and love. So now that you have the information, what are you going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with it. So until next time, everybody, let's get to the money.